Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to configure a Radius server uh, in Packet Tracer. So the goal is uh, that I'm going I, I'm going to try to access the this router command line interface from uh, this local PC PC one uh, local to this router, and also I'm going to try to access the CLI of this router uh, from a remote PC. Uh, which is in another uh, network completely PC0. Uh, so this network is 192.168.50.0. This network is 192.168.60.0. And we have this another network 10.0.0.0. Okay. So first I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to uh, configure this router. So let's go to the uh, router CLI. And oh, by the way, uh, I have configured all the interfaces with IP addresses and I have also configured routing protocol. So this all these PCs and all these servers and routers, all of them has connectivity. So uh, let's let's try first. Uh, let's go to this PC zero and try to conf uh, try to ping 60.2. This is the PC one. This is the IP address of PC one. Okay. So I have replies. Now let's try to ping from PC1 to PC0 50.2. I have replies. So I have connectivity. So these are the prerequisites before before uh, you go to uh, configure radius. As you can recall, radius is an authentication protocol, and it also does. Uh, accounting and authorization here we are going to see authentication uh, only so that uh, when these pieces will try to access the command line interface of this router all the authentication will be done by this radius server okay so let's go to this router and let's do config mode Conf -t. First, I'm going to change the host name of this router. So host name is R2. Host name is the name by which the radius server is going to identify this router. Next, I'm going to create a backup username U1 with the password 1234. And this username and password will be used in case the radius server goes down or the link uh, is down for some reason okay so authentication will be done by the radius server in normal circumstance but uh, if something uh, goes wrong then authentication will be done locally next i'm going to configure AAA. so triple a new model done and this uh, command specifies that everything every authentication will now be done by the server and not the router next i'm going to specify a then here you can see that uh, three options are there counting authentication and authorization new model i have already used here i'm going to just uh, enable authentication and then here uh, Three options are there enable login and PPP I'm going to use the first two options one by one so first enable and then default and then group and then radius okay so radius and lastly I'm going to say local and it will enable that local authentication in case for some reason the radius server goes down okay next i'm going to repeat the whole thing for login okay so now triple a uh, configuration is done now i'm going to specify the radius server ip address and e. now for this reason let me go over to the radius server services triple a and here you can see that uh, some configurations need to be done server type is radius that's okay 
client name here i'm going to provide the host name of the router so r2 and client ip is 192.168.60.1 this is the router ip and the secret key uh, let uh, me say 654321 so this is the secret key that will be used to authenticate this router okay not any user next i'm going to say add and here i'm going to create one user usr1 with the password cisco and add so this is uh, this username and password will be used by radius user so those pcs can use this username and password pair to access the command line interface of the router so this is done let's on switch on the service so server configuration is done next here i have one thing left to do radius server then the host id host name host ip address is 192.168.60.3 so this is the ip address of the server and then i am going to specify the key uh, secret key 654321 so this key should match the server key that i have specified this one okay so all done next i'm going to check whether i can access this router from these two pcs first from this pc which are uh, which is in the local area network of the router itself so telnet 168.60.1 now here i provide usr1 and password is cisco okay i am in the command line interface of the router next i am going to say enable to go to the privilege mode again i have to give the same username pair and password c i s c o and i am in the privilege mode of the router next i am going to try to access the command line interface of the router from a remote pc okay so telnet 192.168.60.1 usr1 password cisco so i am in the exec mode next enable usr1 cisco and i am in the privilege mode of the router so that was it how to configure radius in packet tracer okay thank you